Hello everyone, in this video today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between lytic uh, and lysogenic viral life cycle. So lytic, as the name suggests, here happens the lysis of the cell. So virus is inside the cells and the, this cell gets sliced. So this cell gets sliced and this viral particle then gets released okay like this so this is a lytic life cycle of the virus so it is also known as virulent virulent infection and the virus introduces itself into the genome of the host cell and in initiates the replication by hijacking the host cellular machinery to make new copies of the virus once infection is complete the newly replicated and assembled viral particles are released through the lysis of the host cell into the surrounding okay so then these new virus particles they are released okay the cell is lysed like this is the lysed cell and the newly uh, formed virus particles are released after the lysis of the cell therefore the name of this cycle is lytic cycle because here the lysis of the cell happens so lysogenic lysogenic if you look at this word lysogenic carefully here you see the word gen or simply gen which refers to genetic. So what happens is that in this kind of life cycle, the viral DNA, it gets integrated into the host genome, okay? So in this type of life cycle, we have here the host cell and this is the host DNA. And so what happens, the viral DNA, if this is viral DNA, this viral DNA gets integrated into the host genome. So how are you going to remember this? Genic, referring to genome. Okay, so this lysogenic life, cyc life cycle, sometimes referred to as temperate or non-virulent infection, it does not kill the host cell. Okay, it does not kill the host cell. Instead, it uses uh, it as a refuse where it exists in a dormant state. Following the injection of the viral DNA into the host cell, the DNA gets integrated into the host genome with the help of phase encoded integrases. Okay, these are the enzymes. Um, that help in the integration where it is then termed as a prophase. So in the lytic life cycle, the lysis of the cell happens and the viral particle gets released. In the lysogenic life cycle, the DNA, the viral genetic material actually, gets integrated into the host cell. Okay? So now, the difference is, the first difference is, is that a uh, lytic life cycle, it is a type of viral reproduction mechanism that results in the lysis of the infected cell. Whereas, lysogenic life cycle, it is a type of viral reproduction mechanism where viral DNA is integrated into the host genome. Here the DNA is integrated, gene referring to genetic. The next difference is that the viral DNA is not integrated into the host genome. Here the viral DNA is not integrated. Whereas in case of lysogenic life cycle, the viral DNA is integrated into the host genome. Next difference is host DNA is hydrolyzed. Whereas in case of lysogenic life cycle, the host DNA is not hydrolyzed. Lytic, lytic life cycle, it does not have a prophase stage. Whereas lysogenic life cycle, it has a prophase stage. DNA replication occurs independently of host replication mechanism uh, but in lysogenic life cycle viral DNA re replication takes place along with host replication mechanism. In lytic life cycle host cell is lysed as the viral particles are released. In case of lysogenic life cycle the host cell is not lysed. Lytic life cycle produces progeny of the viruses since viral particles are released. Here in lysogenic life cycle, it does not produce progeny of the viruses since viral particles are not released. Thank you.